Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming to this session on uh, making staff up for work for your organization. We're going to be talking about business integrations and workflows in staff up. My name is Sushmita Kini. I'm an engineering manager on the staff up team at Microsoft. In this session, uh, we do a quick introduction of what staff up is for those of you who are not familiar with what that is. And then we'll go over how staff up can work with the existing business systems and applications in your organization. We'll talk about how it fits in with some specific uh, workflows or processes that you might have. And finally, we'll talk about how you can administer the teams in your orgs that are already using staff up. So Microsoft staff up, what is it? In the keynote uh, earlier this week, you might have heard Satya talk about the digital transformation that a lot of organizations are going through. And as part of this transformation, we want to include all workers. All workers are welcome and that includes the first line worker. Who is a first line worker? First line workers are the baristas in your coffee shop, the folks on the factory floor, uh, the nurses in your medical center. They are the first mile. They are the first to engage with your customers and represent your brand. We want to welcome these first line workers into the digital transformation using Microsoft Staff Hub. Staff Hub was built um, to empower these first line workers to do the best at their job. It delivers on a few key promises um, for these uh, segment of workers. First, we have schedule and task management a fast, fluid and intuitive way to create schedules, easy to create, always up to date and accessible on the go. Uh, the first line managers get a web interface where they can go ahead and create these schedules and we have a mobile iOS and Android application that the first line workers can use to look at their shifts, when their shifts are and you know make any requests if needed. So no more printing uh, of paper of you know worksheets where the schedules are and putting them up on a bulletin board and then keeping them updated every time somebody takes a time off. Staff Up also makes it easy for the first line workers to communicate with the rest of the company, whether that's one on one with other folks on the team or to get announcements from their companies, the corporates as well. We're also addressing the need to onboard train and retrain these first uh, line workers so that they can stay current and do their best at the job. Staffer manages the identities of the first line workers in Azure Active Directory. So if you have any policies, you know, security policies that you are used to applying for your information workers, those can be added for the first line workers as well. Underlying all of these are a set of business APIs and APIs and business integrations that allow you to connect staff up with everything else you have in the organization. This is what we're going to be focusing on for the rest of the session. So before building staff up, we spent a lot of time uh, talking to first line workers in various domains, healthcare, uh, hospitality, retail, to understand their everyday and see how we can add value. We also spent even more time talking to IT admins of the corporations that hire these first line workers to understand what they need from Staff Hub. And a few questions kept coming over and over. What I'm going to do is use those questions as the framework for the rest of my session and we we'll talk about the phases in which they, uh, those questions come up. So, you know, typical IT admin uh, life cycle would be, you know, planning to deploy a tool, delivering that to the organization and finally operating that. So let's start with the planning phase. This is when uh, you know the IT admins are evaluating what staff can provide and how it's going to fit in. The top question that we hear are in this phase is, we already have some workforce management systems that we're using today, or we have some line of uh, business investments that the first line workers are using. How does that, that all fit in with staff up? Can it interrupt with my HR and my payroll systems? And today, my first line uh, worker goes to a web application, you know, to follow some process. Is Staff Hub yet another tool that they will now have to install and use? All these questions, here are some of the solutions we have for them. First of all, we have APIs that we are announcing in private preview at Ignite this week that will let you integrate with your HR, payroll and line of business systems. Um, the typical uh, questions we've heard are, you know, we already have teams that are existing in these systems. Can they be imported uh, into Staff Up? Or if there are shifts that are getting created in Staff Up, can they be exported to my uh, line of business systems? Next, Kronos. 
Um, how many of you use Kronos or are familiar with Kronos? Okay, great. Uh, we are announcing a connector for Workforce Central V8. Um, what this allows you to do is marry the rich functionality that you already have in Kronos with the simplicity and ease of use that Staffa provides. <coughs> We're also planning other workforce management system integrations. And uh, finally, for the line of business web applications that you have um, in your org, we have a very simple way to deploy them within StaffUp so that uh, StaffUp remains the one endpoint that the first line workers go to to do anything they need throughout the day. So let's look at some of the details. Right, so um, coming to the APIs, as I mentioned, the StaffUp APIs will allow you to access all the entities that we have in StaffUp so that you can hook them up to any system that you want. Um, the, the three key entities that we expose today are the teams, members and shifts and for all of these entities um, you can access them using our rest endpoint um, with OAuth and you will be able to list them get more details about them create and delete um, those entities these are available in private preview right now so you can contact us if you want to start using them tasks are another important entity that we also have in staff Hub. Uh, however they are not exposed in the API today we're working hard and we'll make them available very soon um, some more details into what you get um, with these APIs for these entities. For the teams, um, you will be able to create you know, them with a specific name and you'll get the ID back. For members, you'll get details like what, what's the first name, last name, email address and phone number of the member on the team. Um, and also we have the concept of a state. Uh, when you create a team and you invite somebody to join that team, they stay in the invited state, but they actually have to accept that invite after which they become active. So those, that state information will also be given to you. And uh, finally, on the shifts, we have you know the start time, the end time, who's the shift assigned to, what are the types of shifts? They could be either working or it could also be a time off uh, shift, like an absence shift. And again, what's the state of the shift? Is it something that the manager is just you know starting to work on, which means it's in a draft state, or has it been published to the entire team? We also have detail. Yeah, sure. So one to one, one shift to one member, or is it multiple members to a shift? Uh, one member to one shift. It's just one. Yeah. And we have details of some of the breaks. And you can also add notes to your shifts, maybe details about what they'll need to be doing on that shift. All of that is made available as well. Okay. All right, so Kronos. Um, I think some of you uh, are familiar with Kronos. It's one of the leading uh, cloud solutions for human capital and workforce management. And we heard from some of our customers that they're already using that and they'd like staff up to integrate with that. So we built a StaffUp connector for Workforce Central V8. Um, what this connector allows you to do is if you're a team manager already um, having created a team in Kronos, you can just provide your credentials and StaffUp would import all the team details into StaffUp. And from then on, when you create a shift in StaffUp, that will also get reflected in Kronos. What this allows you to do is we know that Kronos has a lot of industry and region specific policies. So whenever a shift is created in um, staff up, we validate those policies and if any of the policies are violated, we won't let you create the shift in staff up. Um, with the Kronos connector, you also get the benefit that when a user um, is clocking in and clocking out in staff up, that detail, you know, the punch time detail is getting uh, pushed to Kronos so they can get paid accordingly. And the other thing we also do is we know that uh, Kronos manages your time off balances, you know, the vacation accruals. We pull all that in and make that available in your profile information so that, you know, at the time when the first line worker is going to make a time off request, they can actually check the accruals to see if they are eligible for it. And similarly, when a manager is going to approve that request, they can view the balances for the employees before they actually take an action. All right, and then coming to the line of business web applications. So usually, you know, there are some URLs that first line workers might be asked to go to to follow some processes or get some details. We've made it super simple uh, to make those available right within Staff Hub in the form of a feature called employee resources. So all that the tenant admin has to do is go to the Staff Hub admin portal and give us these URLs. And then they show up for the first line worker in this section, employee resources section, where they can go to, you know, for example, maybe the support or the help desk for your organization or uh, the HR portal. They have to just open Staff Hub and everything is made available to them right there. Um, and the other thing is, if any of these line of business web applications have been built as a power app, 
then you get the additional benefit of single sign-on. Um, so once the first line worker is logged into staff up, they don't need to log in anymore. The power act would just work for them. Alright, so we're done with you know planning and how staff up kind of fits into the various systems. How are we going to deploy staff up uh, to the various teams in the organization paying attention to the specific needs of those teams? So the roadblock that we hit into here are you know my teams have different workflows or processes that they need to follow. What is staff up going to do about that? And these are some of the real examples that we heard from our customers. Today, Staff Hub only sends you a notification to either the uh, mobile or the web application. So we heard that you know, uh, when a new schedule gets published, my manager or my entire team would need to get an email. Or you might have an internal ticketing system that assigns a ticket to an employee. Can that now translate to a task within Staff Hub? So to um, address some of these, what we did was we built a, a connector for Microsoft Flow. Uh, if you're not familiar with Microsoft Flow, uh, that is a service from Microsoft that lets you uh, create automated workflows. Um, Flow connects with, I think, over a hundred different services, including Exchange, SharePoint, OneDrive, Dynamics, and uh, things like you know Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. So you can literally connect any service to any service, and it works uh, on the concept of triggers and events. A trigger is uh, triggers an action. Sorry. Uh, a trigger is just an event that gets generated in one system and an action can be taken on another system. So uh, with the Staff Up Connector, we've exposed triggers for when a schedule can get published, um, a new shift is added, or when a time off request is created. All of this can trigger a flow. And then on Staff Up, you can also take actions like approve and deny the time off requests or you know, get more details of the shift information. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly switch over to a demo for um, flow. Yeah, all right, so what I have here is the web interface that I as a manager of a team um, can take a look at. So what you see that you know I have a few folks um, in my um, coffee shop and th these are their shifts and all of them you know the, the shaded thing tells you that they're all in a draft state. Now I'm going to go over to flow and if you see here you know I can create a flow right from scratch um, and select staff up as a connector. But based on the use cases that we've already heard from our customers, we actually have shipped a few templates that you can use. These templates are for things like, you know, sending an email when a schedule gets published um, or creating an event in your calendar. And that calendar can be your Google calendar, your Outlook.com calendar or your Office 365 calendar. And there are some teams where, you know, they don't need the manager to even look at the approval um, time off request. They just want to auto approve that. So these are some of the templates that we already have built. I'm going to go ahead and you know uh, show you how this template works for uh, sending an email when a schedule is published. So all uh, you need is select the team for which you're setting up this flow and the email address. I'm just going to use mine for now um, to which the mail has to be sent. And that's it. My flow has been created. Now I'll go back here and I'm going to cl click on publish schedule and what we should see is this flow should be running. All right, looks like it succeeded. Let's see if I got mail. Yeah. All right, there it is. So hopefully this gives you a sense of the power of the connector. You know, you can and here I showed you email, but it literally could be going to any of the other systems that um, flow can support. All right, switching back. And we come to the final phase where let's say the admins have you know, deployed uh, Staff Hub across many teams. How do you now start supporting and administering the teams that are using Staff Hub? Here we get questions like, you know, um, I want to be able to automatically create teams. Uh, I might have some naming policies that I want to apply before the team is created. Or what happens when a manager leaves? Can I automatically have somebody else on the team uh, be made the manager for that team? And then um, I've deployed Staff Hub within uh, my organization, but who's using it? How many teams are being created? You know, is it really resonating with the users in my org? For this, we go back to the uh, APIs that we had already talked about. All of those APIs that I mentioned earlier work differently when it's run by a tenant admin. 
So the tenant admin can actually create any team um, within an organization, even if he's not a member in that team. Uh, you can get details for any team and then um, you would, should be able to also change the membership of the team so you know the for the manager leave scenario you can just promote somebody else to be the manager and in terms of usage reports uh, we are working on getting the staff of usage reports added to the office 365 admin portal this is the same place that you go to to get the usage for all your other properties like exchange sharepoint yammer etc and we'll also be work providing Power BI content packs um, so that you, know, you can use them and modify those reports as needed. With these reports, you can get information like how many teams are being created, what is a typical team size uh, in your organization, and how many of the users are active, inactive, and what are the staff up features that are actually resonating with your users? You know, are they creating schedules? Are they creating time off requests? Um, are they using it for communication? Are they using it for training? Well, how many files are being uploaded? All of that detail will be available in those reports. This is something we want to uh, make available by end of this year. All right, um, to wrap it all up, I'm going to um, share with you a reference guide that will hopefully help you choose uh, which solution works based on the problem you have at hand. Uh, as I mentioned, APIs are there, they're super powerful, they can help you integrate with any system um, that you might be interested in, and they can also be used by administrators for um, administering your staff of teams. We have Flow for team-specific processes and policies. Uh, workforce management integrations, we talked about Kronos, but we know that there are many others out there. So what we'd love uh, you know, from you is to tell us what it is that you are using, because that's going to help us prioritize our backlog better. And finally, Power Apps to make staff up the single app that the first line worker has to go to. Next steps, um, please uh, contact us at staffhubinfo at microsoft.com and we can give you access to uh, the private preview of the APIs. Um, we love feedback, we take feedback very seriously. Uh, we have a user voice site, staffhub.uservoice.com. Um, please add your feature requests or if there's already um, a feature request for what you want, please go and upload it. We pay a lot of attention to this. Um, start using the flow templates, they're already available in product production. If you need a template that you think would be a common use case and it's not already there, again, let us know and we'll go ahead and build that. And for more demos, details, questions, we have a booth. We are in the Microsoft area at the far end on the modern workplace section. Please walk over and we'll be happy to talk to you. Okay? Questions? That's correct, yes. yes. If Shifts to change. Does mm -hmm. it update the calendars? Uh, at this point, it, it's not, but it's we not. will be doing that, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.